Seems like that's what everybody's talking about. Is Daniel Bryan leaving the WWE? We're going to talk about it. My thoughts, opinions, uh, because the simple fact is a superstar's health should come above everything. Edge is a guy that walked away with an injury that said if he ever did it again, he could possibly die. And he said, you know what? Listen, wrestling fans, I love everything you ever did for me, but I want to live. Daniel Bryan's case, he wants to fight. He wants to continue wrestling. And I think even if he left the WWE, he would continue to wrestle. I don't think it has a matter of being on the national stage. I don't think it has anything to do with Raw or, you know, being on, you know, the biggest wrestling company in the world. I think Daniel Bryan has that passion for wrestling and he wants to do it. The indie blood that runs through him. But the question is, should he? Uh, the story was ran, and, and like I said, I, I've been very cautious about rumors because I'm not going to spread things. I think this could definitely be a red herring as if they did do this as a storyline where they release him and then he comes back, I think that would be huge. But if you're a guy that WWE is taking a more cautious approach with injuries now, they're basically saying, you know, our, Daniel, our, our team is not going to clear you. Um, you know, we cleared you, you came back, you got hurt again. We're not taking that risk. And I think there's a big part of this because WWE pays for rehab down the line for some of these guys. And, you know, we've we've heard the stories from the past or from Scott Hall or from other guys that they've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on and it hasn't worked. When it comes down to health, though, that is a lot different. And I would love – I am number one – I'm probably the number one person I would love to see Daniel Bryan back on TV. And I think we probably will at some point. I think that Daniel Bryan is not done with wrestling. I think Daniel Bryan has a lot more to accomplish. I think – you know, he. I think he is growing tired of being that brand ambassador, especially when you're a guy that's wrestled for 15, 20 years, uh, like many of these guys have. It's hard to walk away. And, you know, Daniel's been doing this for as long as he has now, you know, from the indies to his WWE run, from getting cut from WWE to, you know, to wrestling everywhere. And it almost makes me wonder that if these rumors were true, basically what culture was reporting that somebody in the in the HR department had, had overheard that Daniel Bryan would be released next week. And and like I said, I, I like what, what culture, don't get me wrong, I have no beef with what culture. I, <laughs> I I really don't read a lot of their stuff. I think the one thing I did read was last year the the uh, Nintendo Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Nintendo uh, for uh, Shinsuke. Other than that, I really don't read what culture too much because a lot of it is like these just crazy rumors. And I know they have a they have a couple really good writers on what culture um, that that I've read some of their stuff and I've actually got a kick out of. Uh, but when it comes to to reporting something like this, if it was true, and I know some people would be like, "Well, WWE should just let him wrestle." What happens if the WWE doctors told Daniel Bryan, "Okay, you you cannot wrestle. You're going to get hurt." His first night out, he goes out and he gets paralyzed or, or something happens. That is a big risk for the WWE to take. That is something that I, I worry about quite often as much as I love Daniel Bryan and I want to see him on Monday Night Raw. I want to see Daniel Bryan carry the company. I want Daniel Bryan to step in and face Brock Lesnar on the grandest stage of them all. I think Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar is the match that we've been waiting for. I think that would sell tickets. I think that is... What would get us fans excited? But we, we've said before, like, okay, Brock has got that style against Taker. My God, he's going to kill Taker. He's, gonna, he's a very aggressive style. Daniel kind of wrestles that same style, very aggressive, high-flying. And, you know, they asked him. They said, you know, Daniel, if you have injuries, would you be willing to tone it down? And Daniel was like, I, I can't tone it down. I'm a five foot ten, under 200-pound guy. It is not believable for me to go out there and tone it down. And I agree with Daniel Bryan. I think his style, um, you kind of do have to take those big risks. But if those big risks prevent him from living a life, I'm more than happy for the excitement that I got from watching him overcome everything at WrestleMania 30 and win that title. I would much rather have that memory in my head than Daniel Bryan going out and getting injured and basically wrecking his life. So there's two sides to this. There's the part of me that rationally thinks, like, okay, if he comes to the Royal Rumble, if they if they announce a week before, okay, they're cutting him, they're releasing him. I mean, for all we know, he could go over to New Japan. New Japan just lost, if, if it's true, AJ Styles, Doc Gallows, uh, Shinsuke. Daniel Bryan flip-flops, and then Daniel Bryan goes over there. <laughs> Daniel Bryan and the Young Bucks were together. What the? F that would be, wow. Pure speculation. But when you're a guy that wants to do something so bad and people tell you you cannot do it, 
the mindset that Daniels had his whole life. Like, he, you're not going to be a superstar. Look at you. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. And and you did it. There is part of me that I have to imagine Daniel Bryan in the back of his head is sitting there going, these guys don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I know my body. I know me. I know what I have to do or what I can do. And these doctors are whack jobs, especially when you've been in an industry where people have told you, you will not be that guy. You will not be the main eventer of WrestleMania. You will never do this, this, and this. And your whole history is, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. When a doctor tells you, especially a WWE doctor says no, especially with the history that WWE's had of kind of looking the other way, keeping their superstars on TV, um, you know, I think they are doing a better job with concussions or stopping matches or making sure people are good which they absolutely should do. They have a big enough roster with NXT that they don't need guys going out there working injured. Working hurt or working through something is you know two different things. You always hear the boys talk about it. But when you're working through something that you, you, you were the top guy, you get injured. The next year, you're good to go. You get the title. You get injured. If I'm WWE and I'm the doctors, I'm saying, Daniel, listen, no. And then if you are putting him in that spot, what happens if Daniel Bryan gets cleared he wrestles at the Royal Rumble, he gets hurt, and then those plans for Brock versus Daniel Bryan are now done. I think there's two sides of this before everybody freaks out that we have to consider. There is nothing more than I would want than for Daniel Bryan to be at Mania, for Daniel Bryan to finally take that spot and carry the company. I want Daniel Bryan to be that guy. I want Daniel Bryan to do it. But then there's the rational side of me that's like, ah, yeah, I don't want him to get hurt. I, I I like him. And it's like CM Punk. CM Punk was going through a lot. CM Punk, after everything that he's gave us fans, all the storylines, the straight edge, uh, him and leaving the WWE and the pipe bomb, and every memorable moment that we had, he was like, okay, you know, he was going through injuries, and everybody's like, oh, he was just bitching because he didn't get a push. He chose to make himself happy, leave, and do what he wants. And look at the backlash from people. The people that supported him for six years, that supported him, and now because he left the WWE, the only thing people are interested in, it's, it's, it's fuck him. And there's part of me that I don't understand that, how you can get so much entertainment from somebody, but then when they finally pursue something they want, you can hate him for it. I think if Daniel Bryan, if this story were to come true, that Daniel Bryan requested his release, there's going to be some people that feel absolutely betrayed that, oh, he just, he's, he's, he's going to leave the WWE, he doesn't care about us. Which isn't true. I think he cares about wrestling. And when you're constantly being told you can't wrestle, and the only thing you know and love to do is wrestle, you want to get in there. So I'm not going to fault Daniel Bryan. If this story comes true, that Daniel Bryan requested his release because WWE doctors would not clear him, I would support it. If that's truly what Daniel Bryan wants to do, and he knows the risks, he, he knows, he's been told, Daniel, if you go out there and do this, you're going to get hurt. But when you've been told your whole life you can't do something and you've proved him wrong, I think there's part that if I was Daniel Bryan and I was in his shoes, I would want to go out there and be like, this is different. See, I didn't get hurt. See, I knew what I was talking about. And I think that's the sign of Daniel Bryant that these rumors are coming from when it comes to a release that he wants to get out there. And if I'm the company, I'm a little nervous about putting him back out there. Honestly, we gave him the main event of WrestleMania 30. It was a year-long build. When that finally happened, we lost our shit, and then he gets injured a month later. That's what worries me. It honestly does. I care about Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has given me some of the best moments as a wrestling fan, watching him overcome everything, watching him wrestle more than one match in a night, watching this little dude beat all these big guys, watching him cash in at TLC against Big Show and Mark Henry. I lost my shit. Watching him and defending him as a heel when he was winning dirty, when he was a heel, um, I, I, there were so many moments that I was thankful for. So if these rumors are true, I can't fault Daniel Bryan for wanting to leave and, and going after his dream in wrestling. I really can't. And, and I hope wrestling fans don't either. I hope they don't take it as like CM Punk, like him ditching out on his dreams. Oh, he's going to go get his ass kicked. I hope he gets his ass kicked. I think there's going to be some people that are going to go, yeah, he doesn't care about us. I hope he gets injured on the injury, in, in DC and he wrestled in WWE or listened to the doctors. There's going to be people on both sides. There's going to be people that said if he gets injured. Well, see, I told him. If he goes out and he doesn't wrestle, we'll see WWE doctors don't know what they're talking about. They're idiots. And then it's going to kind of set a precedent 
where they may not take the recommendation seriously. So this is a very, very critical case, not only for Daniel Bryan, but for the, for the health of many wrestlers for generations to come. And hopefully they get it right. I, I honestly hope that Daniel Bryan's good to go. I want him to go out there and compete. I hope that you know he proves everybody wrong and then he can still go. And uh, it's worthwhile. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion. And until next time, my name is Tubby, and we'll see you all later.